Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to apply some simple shading effects. There's a couple of different ways to apply shading effects in Anime Studio. First, you can apply the effect through your layer options, and you can adjust parameters there if you wish. And the second way is to apply the effect with your paint bucket tool using a shading paint effect. I'll show you both. That way, if you wish, you can apply one or both of these techniques to your projects. As you can see, I have many layers in this project. I have group layers, I have bone layers, I have regular layers, I have switch layers, and so on. When doing these shading effects, you can apply these effects to any of these layers. Now, for instance, my dog character has many different pieces inside this group layer. If I were to apply a shading effect to the group layer, it will apply it to all of the layers underneath it as well. But in just a general sense, if you want more control over how each part looks when shaded, you can go into each layer in your group layer and apply shading separately as well. So to try this out, let's double click on one of your layers. And now you have your layer settings. And the first option I want to show you is the auto shading radius. What this simply does is it allows you to put in a shading effect around the outlines of your object. And the greater the radius, the more dominant the effect will be. So let's put in eight as the number, as this example, and click OK. Now, in order to see this effect, we need to render out this frame. So let me zoom in on my dog character here so we can get a better look at him to make sure that we can see the shading effect. OK. And now I will just render the project out. And you'll notice, compared to everything else, that he has a slight gray effect around the outlines. And you can especially see this on the eye, that there's definitely a shading effect going on there. And overall, it almost looks a little bit blurry because you have that shading effect going on. And again, if we were to increase that, again, just going into that layer setting and if I increase this to 20 for instance and clicked OK and rendered it out you can definitely see that more and you can see it around it's definitely dominant in the white area okay now the second way to apply shading is through directional shading so let's go back into our layer settings and I will just get rid of the auto shading radius so we can see what this other shading effect does for us. Click on Shadows. And on the bottom is Layer Shading. Click this box to turn it on. Now you have a few different options here. First, you can change the direction of the shading effect. Well, I might want to have my shading come in from this direction. Next, we can choose Offset. Offset basically tells us how far in the shading will go. So the bigger the number, the more shading you will have applied to your character or object. Blur allows you to put in a blur effect. And contraction dictates how close to the center the shading will appear. And finally, you can choose a shading color. Now I say shading, but again, you can use this in a number of different ways using a light source or something similar. So you could very easily make your shading yellow and slightly transparent like that. And then I'll just switch the offset here to about 40 to see what that looks like. I'll leave the blur the same and the direction the same. And when I'm done, click OK. Now when I render this out, you very much have that directional shading coming into play. And now this is what I mean about applying this to group layers versus individual layers. For instance, you might not want your nose to have that shaded look. 
But since we applied this to the group layer, the nose is involved in that group layer, so that shading effect is applied to it. But you could just go in individually to each layer and apply the shading effect in different ways, in different intensities. Maybe you don't want the shading to appear so much on this leg. Well, you could not put it on at all, or you could decrease the shading on that leg, and so on. So that's something to keep in mind when you are doing this effect. The last way to apply shading is through the use of your paint bucket tool. First, I'm going to go back into my layer and get rid of this layer shading just so we can see what the paint bucket shading looks like. Now, what I want to do is go back to frame zero because frame zero is where we can color in and draw new objects on our stage. Then we will select the head or the face of this dog, just so I'll use that as an example. I'm going to shade the face. Then I will take my eyedropper tool and just select the color of the face so I have all that set. Then I will go to effect on my style window and choose shaded. Now here you can see an example what the brown looks like and then you have that shaded effect in there and you can also adjust the direction and you can adjust the offset and blur. Basically everything you could adjust in the layer options you can adjust here. It's just now that you are painting it on instead of using a a layer effect for it. And so I could choose my shadow color to again be a yellow color. And you can see what this will look like in this preview here. So once you have that, you just click OK. You take your paint bucket tool and you apply it. And you can see this, what it looks like right now without having to preview it. That's another advantage to this type of method if you decided to go this route. Right now I can see what it looks like and I can easily go back in and adjust it if I wanted to. Maybe I don't want it that color or that direction so I can just go back in and choose a different color, a different direction, and I could maybe even change the blur to zero and click OK and then apply it and then look at it. And as you can see now, it's very much of an abrupt change from yellow to brown. So that is just another way of how to apply shading effects to your character. Anyway, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.